Okay. It's time to start a new jacket, so the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the bottom band. So I like to cut it just right above where it's seamed in. These are my favorite, favorite scissors, the Kai 5220. And I'm going to cut all the way around the bottom. So I hope you caught that. I'm cutting some of that. Italian trim on my ironing on my cutting mat all the way around. I will cut off the cuffs and the neck in almost every case in exactly the same way. So then what I'm gonna do is take this and lay it nice and flat. Because you see there's no side seams on this one. And I want to get this bottom straight. You'll be surprised how crooked the bottom is. Sweatshirts, even the very best ones, are made pretty mass production. So don't expect super great grain, don't expect super straight edges, isn't going to happen. So I've lined this up and I'm going to cut this off with my rotary cutter. The new one I love, this happens to be a Dritz, but it's actually a Kai blade. So when you cut that off, and I had gone over a pin, so I have a dull place, but I really do love this Kai rotary cutter. So now this will go in the garbage. So I've got a straight bottom. As I have it here, I'm going to put a pin where each side seam would be. Then I'm going to fold the neck in half, matching the shoulder seams of the Comfort Color ones or the dropped yoke seam of the Authentic Pigment ones. So here I have a center, match these up, so here's my center front, fold this in half and at the neck, I folded the bottom in half matching the side where the side seams would be, so I have my center pin at the bottom, fold it in half. And don't get upset if it's not going exactly along one of those knit little lines because it's not going to. And it's really no problem. So just press it. Remove your pins. And then you're just going to cut right up that line. This is, of course, all presuming that you wanted a center front opening. Now I'm going to cut off the neck ribbing, but I'm going <clears> to <throat> let you know that the, what's going to happen with this sweatshirt is that I'm going to be wrapping this center front with black bias cut silk ribbon, so it's going to go back twice like that. But I need to stabilize that center front so I am going to, you can come to this mess, Jeff. This is my straight, fusible, bias binding. So I'm going to fuse it right along the edge of the center front. And I'm not pushing hard because I don't want to stretch that edge out. Then what's going to happen is this is going to roll twice to the outside after I've marked it and then I'm going to punch holes and I'm going to whip the ribbon, but that's in another video clip. But that's how I stabilize the edge.